Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm tired. I'm tired today, guys. It's been a long, long, beautiful, amazing summer, and it's kind of grinding to a halt slowly. It's still, uh, still fairly nice, but uh, it's that post-summer uh, North American tiredness that uh, that reaches out and grabs you after such a busy time of year. A wonderful time of year. And, and it's the wonderful time of morning now where we're going to feature this beast. We haven't. Uh, and just push your teammate. That's right. Yeah. The Waffentraga E100, driven by Florence Nightingale. I can't read the, their name. But the, there it is. We finally featured one. Okay. Shall we? And, oh, I thought he was going to run into a rock, but it's a bale of hay. Ah, and he's on the outpost map. So he's going to outpost it. Drive off the cliff. Come on, drive off the cliff. It's okay. Oh, he stops way back here. Oh, this isn't it. Okay. Interesting. Has this map slightly changed? What's going on? It wasn't there. Weren't there rocks here? I'm confused. Oh, he's spawning on the other side. Okay. Well, anyway. That's just what. My brain's not working. Remember this tank uh, was in the game and it was removed because it's too powerful. But now it's back. Because why not? Okay? Because everything else... the uh, A rising tide lifts all boats. And this boat was not in the water for a while. So the rising tide lifted the whole game above. This, this used to break the game. But now it's now it's like, you know, pff, shitty. But this guy's going to have a, a great game. <laughs> but my brain is tired. I might not make that much sense in this uh, uh, commentary. Uh, this is what happens, right? Uh, where I live in Canada, north, in the summer, the days are so long, right? You pack so much into your summer. Uh, it's so busy. Uh, at the peak of summer, the solstice, what uh, the sun comes up at like 4.30 and goes down at around 10.30, 11 at night. And you enjoy every minute of it. And it's so busy in the summer. I had one of the busiest summers um, uh, ever. Most enjoyable summers that I've had in uh, well, this poor guy. Yeah. 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 And one shot to spare. You know what I did this summer? I went to the West Coast. Uh, the West Coast. I went to the West Coast camping for a week and got uh, stuck in the rain the whole time. And that was fun. Then I spent two weeks fly fishing uh, in uh, the southeast part of British Columbia for uh, cutthroat trout. Uh, right. That was really good. Uh, then I uh, uh, flew back to uh, Toronto to uh, visit my parents and ended up driving a car from Toronto all the way to the West Coast. And I almost got arrested at the Canada-US border. Okay. Had that adventure. That's uh, 4,500 kilometers, uh, 3,500 miles. Uh, road trip over Lake Superior and ended up on the West Coast and spent another week out there. Uh, then I came back, and then I drove back to the West Coast with my kayaks and did a, a two-week kayaking trip uh, in the Pacific Ocean. Okay. And then I came back. Just a second, let's just pause it. And then uh, uh, I went uh, fishing again. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, lots of fishing in and out there. And uh, kind of taking charge and overseeing this renovation that I'm doing at the house inter interspersed with all that oh and uh, of course flew to Anchorage and did a uh, cruise down the inside passage and the Alaska Canada coast uh, visited Anchorage uh, Ketchikan Skagway and uh, the other one uh, Juneau so that that was I packed all that in one summer right so and uh, now the summer's winding down. You know, you get that feeling. You guys that live in North America in the northern climates, you know this, right? You pack it all in into summer, and then you can see the days getting shorter, and it's getting a little cooler. Although I must say, it's, the weather's still beautiful, but you can tell, right? The summer's winding down. Uh, and you get that feeling like... Uh, you get that feeling like, oh, I'm tired. That was a... You, know, you want to, like... Just sit back. Ugh. And it's just a little harder to get up in the morning. You want to sleep in a bit. Your body does this. You've been getting up at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning and, and staying out till 11. 
running around on your bicycle and your fishing rod and doing all this, swimming and paddle boarding and stuff. And now the body says, you've been going for three, four, five months. Just chill. You don't have to get up. It's only eight o'clock. It's a little cooler out. You, you pull the covers down a bit and you go, Ooh, it's cold. You want to stay in bed? Then when you get up, you're not like jumping around like a rabbit. You're like, oh man, baby, I'll have, this is a three cup of coffee morning, not a regular two cup of coffee. Morning. That's that's what I'm feeling like now. And then things slow down, and then uh, autumn, and then winter, and then the days get shorter. And then you have this period where you're just like, oh, let's uh, rest. And then you've rested enough. And then it's like, hey, it's winter. It's time for me to get out snowboarding. And then you get active with the winter. Um, activities but that's completely different that's uh, uh, that's all about the uh, arctic clothing and getting out and enjoying the beautiful uh, winter and I'll post some videos of that I posted lots of videos of my uh, adventures on my POV channel from my summer adventures guys I, I live the the dream life right this is uh, uh, the dream life and you guys can live vicariously through me if you watch my POV channel videos. Everything from car reviews to don't buy the Chinese garlic to uh, I film the salmon spawning in, uh, in Ketchikan in uh, Alaska from the ocean all the way to their spawning beds. Uh, I got some amazing video of uh, this, the, the most terrifying train ride ever in Alaska. I got uh, all sorts of uh, interesting uh, stuff. If you guys uh, are interested, check it out. We're, we're, I'll put the link up there. And, uh, wow. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm in that mood. Uh, but having said all that, I wanted to ask you guys. Because uh, anyone from North America or Europe, you probably experience, especially Europe. Because Europe, a lot of people... I'm sorry Americans I'm gonna insult Americans now okay I love Americans I love you all but I gotta insult you once in this video uh, you guys are bad at geography Americans are bad at geography and by the way we missed this game uh, you know we I said I'd feature the Waffenträger auf E100 so I did and there you go I guess that's why it was removed from the game because it, the burst damage is just too much uh, and he had a good game it's only 6,000 damage right so you know it's not much but it cost him it cost you. Many Americans do not realize that all, almost all of Europe is farther north than the most northern parts of, uh, of the United States. Uh, but uh, because of the Mediterranean and the water and uh, Europe being kind of surrounded and moderated by the water, that it's, uh, the weather is, uh, is, is good. Right? Even uh, the southern parts of Europe are not, uh, are not that far south compared to North America. But did you guys know that? Americans, did you know that? Okay, okay, some of you knew that. M most Americans don't. Uh, uh, they, as far as uh, geography, what Americans know is that Alaska's kind of up there and Florida's down there. So I think they, and Mexico's south. Some of them don't know where Canada is. Okay, you guys Americans, did you know that uh, Southern Ontario in Canada, way up there, Southern Ontario, uh, Windsor, which is one of the furthest south cities in southern Ontario, uh, is at the same latitude as uh, uh, Northern California. Did you know that? No, it's way up there near the North Pole. No, it's not. I know. Well, some Americans are probably thinking, what's latitude? But I digress. <laughs> So what was I saying? Yeah, so the phenomena is the is similar for uh, Europeans. You get the really, really long, especially the, the northern European countries. You get the long, long uh, days. Long, long days in the summer, the short, short days. Especially those like uh, the yodeling Swedes. <laughs> right? That's why they only yodel in the summer because it's the days are longer. They're so happy. They're up there at five o'clock in the morning. You're like, right? I don't do that in the winter. In the winter is when they uh, go outside on the uh, in their backyards with just a towel around and they jump into the frozen lake. Come on, everyone knows that. Uh, but uh, so you experience the same phenomena where uh, you get that 
right after the uh, the summer is as the summer's winding to a close. You get that feeling of oh, you know, you, it's like after you've played a hockey game or you finished a football game or you know you you're halftime in the soccer game or something. You're like, whoo! You feel like you've a, you've been through something and you're tired. That's, that's what the Canadian summer and Northern European summer. Whereas as opposed to, for instance. You guys that live down in Florida or Southern California and stuff, it's kind of, you, I think it, you space out, you, you don't have that. Okay. I go to Hawaii and the sun always sets around 6. It always comes up in the morning and every day is beautiful. So you got to pace yourself. You can't uh, have a summer pace all year round. It's, uh, <laughs> talk about the ganga bang. <laughs> So my question for you guys, uh, some of you in Europe and uh, uh, Northern North America and stuff, uh, how was your summer? What did you spend your time doing? And uh, did you do you feel like you packed in uh, enough enjoyment in your summer, or do you feel like ah, I spent all this my summer uh, fixing my roof? Or uh, you know, did, did you waste your summer? Does it go down as another summer? You were going to do that trip, but you put it off. You were going to go camping. You were going to go to the northern shores of Lake Superior. Uh, and you knew that the campsites fill out. People uh, reserve the sites. And you should have reserved them. But you were lazy and you didn't. And then by the time you checked, they were all full. And you went, ah. And then you put it off and then you didn't go. And now it's the end of the summer and you're going, oh, shit. I missed another year. I'm sitting in this house. You're getting, like, bored. Your, did you have one of those summers or did you pack in some good activity? I always say you have to use the time that nature gives you. Um, just, you, know, you well, don't wait to do something today for tomorrow. Is that the right? Don't do, don't do tomorrow what you could do today. Because tomorrow might be raining. You never know. That's uh, that's why I have the, you know, I'm living the dream. If I if I want to do it, I do it. There's no thinking involved anymore. No thinking involved. Someone says, uh, uh, let's take an example. Uh, do you want to go to Maui in February? Uh, I, you know, some people. Uh, what am I doing in February? Am I? I was gonna. Yeah, I needed to clean out the cupboards in the kitchen. I have been meaning to do that, and I was planning on doing it. And they're thinking, maybe... But, uh, speaking of gangbang, let's just watch this for a second. <laughs> you can only talk locally. It's okay. You only need to talk locally. That would bounce. Look at this. That would hit the dirt. Why did you auto-lock at least? He's putting his ass up against the, the rock, which is perfect, so they can't flank him. <laughs> Just hold on, guys. <laughs> we had to pause my story to enjoy the game. <laughs> so I don't think about it anymore. As a matter of fact, someone asked me, do you want to go to Maui in February? I said, yeah. Do, do I know what I got going on in February? What uh, things I have to do? What's important? No. Am I going? Yeah. Why? Because because why not? That's that's my motto now. Should I go? Why not? not don't search for reasons not to. Do the opposite. Why not? Anything that's exciting or uh, that you may not get a chance to do in the future... Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I can. <laughs> so, that's the way it is. What are we doing here? Shall we watch the game now? And you guys let me know in the comment section. Uh, what what uh, came of your of your summer? Did you have a, a acceptable summer? Or are you feeling a little bit regret that maybe you didn't... Uh, uh, didn't do what you wanted to do. Just uh, let me know in the comments. Share with the community. We have a really good comment section here. Really good community. And uh, you share your comment and people reply to your comments. Like if you say, I really wished I could have went 
fishing when this was happening, but I didn't because of some, some of, and there's some legitimate, maybe there was a crisis, maybe something happened. And I've had times where I've had to cancel things because of a crisis, especially with uh, uh, my parents at, uh, in Toronto, I've had that. So I understand that too. There, there are responses, and I'm not saying to be irresponsible, there are responsibilities as well. Right? So sometimes responsibilities preclude you from, you know, just being selfish and enjoying your life. So, but you have to make an effort, is the point. Uh, it's very, because the, um, it's like, uh, what's the, uh, the, uh, the physics? The, 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 the law of uh, entropy or whatever, one of, the, one of those laws. <laughs> now he lived life to the fullest in this game he did the best he could <laughs> he enjoyed every second of his life in that game and then uh, you know <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> you live you enjoy and then you die the point i was trying to make is that we could learn a lot from particle physics and the universe itself uh, and that is that uh, uh you, you take a, an atom, and the natural state of an atom is to be at the lowest level of excitement. It, uh, the electron is not doing much, unless it gets excited by some energy, right? The, the, the natural state is the lowest level of excitement. And uh, even, uh, like, all the stars are just slowly burning themselves out. <laughs> so... Uh, unless you inject some some energy uh, it's the same with us unless you inject some energy or some drive or some motivation uh, we humans will just exist at the lowest state of excitement it's really easy to just uh, uh, wake up and sit around on your couch all day and, and watch TV and that's why there are TV shows that's why uh, <laughs> so I don't actually I don't know if that's why there are TV shows <laughs> But you see, the point I'm making is um, uh, excitement will not, if, if you just stay home sitting on your couch, excitement will not come and find you. <laughs> Unless, I, I guess sometimes the universe th throws a curveball at you and, uh, you know, like a, 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 a meteorite will hit your house. Then, then there'll be some excitement for a few hours or a few weeks. But generally speaking, uh, you have to impart the energy to create uh, some excitement and some uh, some umph in your existence. The natural state is so. When summer comes, summer must be enjoyed. Then, when when autumn comes, autumn must be enjoyed. The harvest and the uh, the leaves and the walking and the crisp air and taking Marty out to to the lake so he can jump in one more time before it gets too cold. Then when the winter comes, the winter must be enjoyed, right? So the snowboard has to come out and be tuned up. Then in the spring, the spring must be enjoyed. My garden must get planted. My trips must be planned. My outdoor activities. Ah, it's on and on and on. Boom. That's, that's, whoa, whoa. That's, that's good. That's perfect. That's, uh accurate gun in the game all right i'm done talking about the philosophical uh, view of uh of life no it's not a phil what, what am i saying i'm just saying uh yeah i enjoy i make the i made the mo best of it in the summer i'm wondering if you did uh, as well <laughs> the guy just jumped off the cliff <laughs> that's funny <laughs> he's like get away run away bloop <laughs> That is hilarious. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, and the Batchat the bat -chat has really bad gun, and he was able to snap him like that, even when he was kind of moving a bit. And the Leopard is aiming and um, and missing. The Leopard's aiming and missing, and the Batchat's actually hitting him. That's a, he's, he's doing pretty good. How many shots has he missed? Only one or two, really. He's doing pretty good. So I will be reading your comments uh, today, uh, and um, let's 
Oh, can he? Can he? Yes, he can. Yeah, this is a I thought I'd end the video. This is a triple play. End the video with, uh, I guess, my favorite tank, the Leopard. Just because of the gun. When it doesn't troll you. I thought, no, let me show you this. Let's end it on a, on a, a positive with uh, the Leopard. 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 And uh, I will uh, check out your, your comment section. Share, please, with everyone. Okay. Oh, he drove into the dead uh, uh, tank. Now, if he pokes over there, is he going to get shot by the 60 TP? Oh, he's got a rock. He's got a rock that will protect him. But there's an AMX M451 as well. And now the leopard's calling help. Why do you need help? Do you need help? Like, you're stuck on the rock? Why do you need help? Well, how could you possibly need help, leopard? Help! I'll try that at the grocery store today. When I'm going to go to the grocery store after this. I'll just go down the coffee aisle. And I'll stop in the middle of the aisle and I'll go, Help! People in the store will look around and go, What the hell's wrong with you? That's what, that's what your team is doing to you right now. What do you want help for? You're there with like three other tanks. Your team is fighting around the cap. It's an encounter mode. They're all around the cap. You're like up on the hill. Help! <laughs> well, now he's going to go. Now he doesn't need help. He wanted help, but now he doesn't want it. There you go. Did you need help? So you did it yourself. You see? See? You did it yourself. And now he gets in the low ground. This is very good. Nice. He dodged the shot. There you go. You don't need help. You're in a leopard. Beautiful play. See? That's, he put his big boy pants on. He's got some balls, guys. Balls. And he's sniping away. And now he knows he's got one, two, three guys behind him. So if these guys come to shoot him, he's got some backup, guys. He's got backup. Oh, oh he's, now he's got some problems. If he shoots, he gets spotted. But shoot anyway. Just shoot. You got lots of HP. Shoot. You're just letting him get close and spotting you. See, now you could have shot. Oh, but his, his shot was absorbed by the track. That's okay. Come on, you can do it. No, aim! You're going to get shot again anyway. Oh, no, he's not. Very good. Smart. Okay, he knows what he's doing. Maybe that's why I suck in the leopard. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, what's this 60 TP doing? There's no bots in World of Tanks, guys. We know this because Wargaming said so. Now he's saying, HELP! Y you cannot worry about those guys because uh, if they poke over, your teammates are going to shoot them. You're, you don't need help. You've got help. Okay, I'm going to pause it here because this is bothering me. He has help. He doesn't need help. He's got one, two TDs sitting here at uh, A4, and they can shoot anyone that approaches him. They are helping him. You're just panicking and annoying your teammates. Just play your game. Your teammates will help you. It's fine. There you go. Welcome Strafa. The 60 TP is trapped in no man's land there. If he moves forward, your teammates are going to shoot him. And you're doing good. You're doing good. Yeah, just keep keep pumping the shots out. Now, if you poke too far... Oh, there you go. See, someone helped you. Oh, boom. Isn't it nice to see a leopard doing well? See how I transitioned from uh, a story about how my summer was and asking you how your summer was and the uh, uh, the mysteries of life and physics? And now we're talking about World of Tanks. That's weird, actually. Why are we talking about World of Tanks? I'm not sure. <laughs> Very nice. Help, he says again. <laughs> I don't, maybe this guy's never had a, a game... Uh, a good game like this? Like, why are you calling help over and over again? You're winning 12-7. You've got a, a lot of teammates that are behind you. Oh, help! <laughs> the Leopard PTA hit him once. And he says, help again! Maybe we'll call the video help. I need your help. If I call the video, I need your help. 
Maybe more people will click. They'll say, oh, Klaus needs help. We always knew he needed help. <laughs> okay. That bat chat from the beginning, who was on that, you know, he shot him, or is there two bat chats? Oh, there's two bat chats. It's a different bat chat. Okay. Help, he says. Hey, guys, guess what? He needs help. Let, let, let your team know again just to get help there you go sir. that's good let them know there you go your teammates helped you they stole the kill I don't know his name it's uh, anonymized I don't know his name it's anonymized <laughs> and he uh he I don't know it's I don't know his name it's anonymized uh, but he, he titles this, uh, what the fuck is this? It's just a game where you called help 47 times. I'm interested in reading your comments, guys. Let me know in the comment section what your comments are. <laughs> Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.